Some last minute preparation, shoes on. What did you see? What is it? Alright, into the car. since moving down uh, to Altai is that it's just so much more peaceful out here. Driving long distances like for a long time doesn't seem like a chore so much because there's just so much to look at, so much changing all the time with the seasons and it's just so beautiful. Quite a bit of a drive to the place where we're going. We had to go through some, a few little towns, people selling stuff on the side of the road, floating bridge which uh, cost us 40 rubles to get across. Box. Getting overtaken by all these little right hand drive cars. Mm -hmm. Not for what long. Do I, what do I even own one of these for? I almost went for a jog. <laughs> Money blew away. Yeah, they've even got like a bolt there, but it wasn't, I couldn't see it. So it's way the money down. Hey, coins, people. After getting over the bridge, we headed out of Bisk and towards Barnul. Hello, Chaos. It was um, pretty nice roads most of the way to Barnul, but um, it took a while to get there. And when we got there, we found out we had to go the whole way across the city, which isn't too bad considering all the interesting buildings you can look at. Really pretty architecture and old sunken buildings. Update. Well, we are all tired of driving at this point. Police. More police directing traffic. Yeah, see that I told you, important people coming through. Ah. Uh -huh. See? Well, ah, oh, maybe we missed them. Maybe it was the Minister for Agriculture. We're just commenting on how this feels like it could be in Australia, except for that cow right there. That would not happen in Australia. Yes, there is a cow. At least he's picketed though, so he's not about to wander on the road. So guys, we have finally gotten here and uh, the weather's clear at the moment, but you can see like there's some real bad weather coming in this way, you can hear the wind. Um, so we're just going to go over, head over there, see what there is to see. 
Um, I've kind of missed the main program. Um, there's still going to be some equestrian, equestrian competitions, so we'll see if we can find that. Anyway, let's get going. So we, uh, when we got there, we had a look at some tractors first. Saw some Massey Ferguson and uh, Massey Ferguson. Some New Holland, Klaus, some plows and stuff. It was pretty good. And even though the weather was uh, not too good at the start, we got rained out yeah. at the start. It didn't seem to deter the crowds too much. These machines are just huge. And a lot of this uh, equipment is actually made in Barnall. Um, a lot of the plows and cedars and stuff. It started raining. So we're gonna find somewhere to get out of the rain. So we've uh, gotten out of the rain. Around uh, under this, what is it? Uh, is it a New Holland? New Holland. Yeah, New Holland. Still raining a bit. It's pretty windy right now and wet. So we're just going to stay here for a little bit, hopefully not get too wet. Here we see um, one of the stands that was more kind of catering towards homesteaders or do-it-yourself kind of people at home for mincing, juicing, I think making oil as well. They had some separators there and um, some kind of budget dryers. One of the more interesting companies at the show, for us at least, was the Lovell uh, Tractor Company, which is a Chinese company that makes a lot of smaller tractors. They do do some bigger stuff, but it's becoming increasingly popular here in Russia, and um, Justice Walker has even just bought, well, he bought it a while, he's done a review on his channel of one of these tractors. But what was probably more interesting was the range of attachments that you could get, which is actually made by a company here in Barnaul. And um, they're, they're pretty cute on these smaller tracks. After seeing all the tractors and stuff, we moved over to the animals, which the children were just thrilled to see. We got to see Horses, sheep, cows, goats. There's a few little baby animals there, which was pretty cute. Look how beautiful like the, the stalls are. Yeah, it They're is very so nice. It beautiful. Smells and nice. The, yeah, it smells clean, like the nice agriculture. Look at the birds up there. There were quite a few Russian breeds here, but we also saw a few well, uh, ones that we were more familiar with, like Galloway and Hereford. Here we have, well, I think the Galloways, the young ones. Okay. These are the cows we had in Australia, except we had the belted ones, so the dolly cows. Yeah, the the ones with the pretty belt. Yeah. Oh. Nice cow. It turned out that this place is way more interesting than I thought it would be. And uh, 
We should have come earlier. That's all I'll say. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. It was a real fun day out. We hope that you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, please consider giving us a like, uh, subscribing if you're not subscribed, and letting us know what you thought about it down in the comments. Is farming something that you're into? Do you do farming or looking into farming? Or are you just interested in seeing how things are done around the world? Let us know down in the comments. Apart from that, guys, till next time, take care. Bye-bye.